So you've bought your Chipquik SMD1 SMD removal kit. Inside you will find a small syringe full of paste flux. Mine is actually partially empty because I've used quite a bit of it. You'll find a small spool of the Chipquik alloy and you will also get some alcohol prep pads for cleaning your board off afterwards. You start off by applying some of the paste flux to the pins of the components you're going to be removing. In this case, a 160 pin RCP chip from an N64. And you want to make sure that you get it on every single pin that's soldered onto the board. This is the alloy. It looks a lot like regular solder, like some thick solder, except for the fact that it's actually very brittle. And if you try to unbend it too quickly, it will actually snap just like so. Crack. The way you use this stuff is a lot like just regular solder. You heat up the pins of the component and then you start applying the alloy. It will combine with the solder already present on the board and lower its melting point so that it will stay liquid for a longer period of time, which is what you want in order to be able to take the chip off. You want to apply the alloy to all of the pins and make sure that it's evenly distributed across everything. Don't put too much pressure on the soldering iron or you'll bend some of the pins as I will show you later on in this video. Once you've made sure that all the pins have the alloy, heat them up one last time so they're all molten and push your chip right off the board like so and it will come right off. No damaged pins. You want then can take your soldering iron and you can just clean off all the pads from the circuit board. No broken traces, no missing pads, just a nice clean board. You can then clean it off with the alcohol and it will remove all that extra flux that's left on the board. To remove any other components, just repeat the process. You just apply your flux, make sure that you get it on all the pins, including any mounting tabs. Then take your alloy, apply it once more to all the pins. Keep them hot long enough for the material to stay liquid and then you push your component right off. To clean off the pins of your chips, I recommend applying some flux to them and then taking your soldering iron and then just slightly rubbing away from the chip. All of the excess material will collect on the tip of the soldering iron. In areas where you have more material left over, if you just tilt your device sideways and just heat it up to where it forms a molten blob at the bottom, you can then just shake it off and then just continue cleaning the rest of it off like normal. This is actually what I was talking about where I put too much pressure on one side and some of the pins connected together. I will have to take a needle later on and heat them up and separate them. You wanna have some nice clean looking pins just like so, evenly separated. And here again, we're just cleaning off the rhombus chip. Just gently rub away from it the solder will collect on the tip of your soldering iron and that's all there is to it.